Cunningham to Chamberlain. A fake on Russell. He's in. Unbelievable. Julius Irving. Hit it hanging underneath. He was trapped. Iverson steps over to Ron Lou. Corkmoss for three. Yes! And Bede fakes and Bede down the lane. Set. Head fake. And hits it. Set. Close. My name is Kate Scott, and I am so honored and just incredibly pleased to be sitting where Mark sat for 27 years and looking forward to having a whole lot of fun with this guy and hopefully all of you for a very long time. Play-by-play right. -play became a dream of mine, not until after I graduated from college. Even 20 years ago, there was less than five women that I knew of doing play-by-play. Welcome, Gail. You're now the first woman to do play-by-play -play of an NFL game. And I'm sure there was more, but they just didn't have the visibility that allowed me to see that they were calling games. Um, so even when I graduated from college, I thought anchoring, reporting, I thought that was the ceiling for me. Until a few years after I graduated, and a guy who I'd done a, a highlight show with during college said, hey, I have a high school football package, and I want you to call some games on Friday night. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my first reels. This is amazing. High school football, that's where it all started. Hi there, everybody. I'm Kate Scott alongside my partner, Joe Castellano. <laughs> and Joe, both teams come in tonight. Uh, nothing like a tucked in polo. Make you look TV ready, Kate. Rolls to his right. He's going to drop back. He's got a receiver. Anthony Williams makes the catch. De La Salle goes up by two touchdowns. So that was the play. That was the first high school game I ever called. And obviously, I hate the call now, but I, I actually nailed what happened. And I remember driving home that night thinking to myself, like, I can do this. I called a couple of 49ers preseason football games back in 2016. Then the next year, I was the first woman to call a football game for the Pac-12 network. I felt a little more confident, but I still kind of felt like I was faking it. I still didn't believe in myself. Then I got to call an NHL game, right? <laughs> a couple years ago for NBC. And I remember asking them because they said, we want to do this all women's broadcast. And I said, you guys, I've never called a hockey game before. And they said, we know that, but you are a professional play-by-play -play announcer. Did you ever know how to call volleyball before you called it? Soccer, basketball, any of the sports you called football until you called it. And I said, no. They said, you know Al Michaels at the 1980 Olympics with the Do You Believe in Miracles call? He had never called hockey before, but Al was a play-by-play -play announcer who we trusted and he did it. We trust you the same way. So I worked my ass off for a number of months and back at the hotel that night, that was really the first time where I thought, I've never done this before, but now I know I can do this. So all of that ha have prepared me for this. And yeah, when I got the call and they said, we wanted to call you before we talked to your agents, um, we'd love for you to be the voice of the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, and I just kind of stood there and thought, wow, I had to go through those experiences so that now that I'm sitting here today, I have the confidence to be able to crack the mic with Allah. Pretty move by Tyrese Maxey. Seth Curry, let them know. What a win for the Sixers here tonight. And know that we're just, we're just gonna be great announcers and knock it out of the park. I think every broadcaster kind of does it differently. That was some of the great advice I got right at the start of my career. Ask for boards and examples of notes from every broadcaster that you can, and then just start to see what works for you. So my boards have definitely evolved over the years. I used to be embarrassed by all the sticky notes and everything I had, um, but then I just realized it works for me and I'm getting better and that's all that matters. So I shouldn't be embarrassed by all my sticky notes. Again, blue is for the Sixers tonight. Um, I like to color coordinate things just because that's how my brain works. So I know if I have numbers written in green, that's because of what they did against the Boston Celtics. If I have something written in red, it's against the Raptors. I just really relate colors to teams in the sports that I call um, so I've just continued that here in Philly. I'm really happy to be here in Philly because I relate to that blue collarness. I, I never had anything handed to me at any point in my life. 
back in 2016, there was a number of moments where I was sleeping in my car after my radio shift and was doing Pac-12 television in the afternoon at night. So here I was from the outside, everybody was thinking, oh, she's had her big break, she called 49ers games. And I had a pillow and a blanket in my car and I would find a street in San Francisco, wish them shade and pull over. And I was getting ready in Target and Bed Bath & Beyond bathrooms because they have plugs for curling irons before I was calling high school football games. So there was a lot of grind. Um, this is not, I think, as glamorous as some folks think. For young women, young men, young anybody who are coming up and want to be in a position like yours or want to be the first at something, yeah. what would you tell those people that are coming up behind you? Hmm. Don't focus on being the first. Um, my favorite saying, it's little by little, one walks far. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's sports broadcasting, whether it's playing the NBA, it's important to set that big goal. And then what are the very small things that are going to help you get there? My first job was a radio traffic producer. I wasn't even on the air, but I knew that I needed to get my foot in the door of the broadcasting industry. How did that ever turn into the voice of the 76ers? It's hard to make sense of that, but keep pushing yourself to get better. Keep telling people what your goals are. Um, be kind to everybody, that is so important. People hire people that they wanna work with. And, um, and just keep going, because it's gonna be hard, and there's gonna be lots of times when you question uh, if you belong, if you can do this, and uh, just keep going back to work the next day. A huge win early in the season, Ala. We're just getting started. Heck yeah, we are.